This week, Julie and I are horrified to discover that our 18th century swimming pool has turned into ghastly green primordial soup. We have been completely overrun by This is unbelievable, blanket everybody. Weed. So we get to work clearing out the algae. Oh my gosh. This is the job. This is the job. We then call David the organic pool guy, who says it's all my fault for leaving the tap on. I, I think the tap was left on. In fact, I know the tap was left on. Later, to redeem myself, I brave a monsoon in order to repair the plant islands. Let's, uh, let's join these guys back up again. So everybody, I was going down for my daily swim and I have just come to get Luke. You to... are absolutely kidding me. No, no. You are kidding me. Oh my goodness, this has happened in three days. Yep. The water three was days. clear. I swam the sun about has, three days ago and it was clear. The sun has come out for the first time this year for yep. three days. Yep. And we have been completely overrun by this is unbelievable, blanket everybody. weed. I mean, this was our prize project last year. We cleaned this pool, we repaired it, we stopped the leaks, we brought in the pool expert, David Pagan Butler, to help us with a strategy for removing the yep. nutrients. We built these, well, you built these plant islands. I'm and gonna, now it's actually worse than I've ever seen it. And I just don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to stand on these, which I've done before in the past, because what I want to do is whoa, I- Whoa, 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 no, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I Health and safety alarm. What? Point is, everybody, is that I'm just looking at the health of the plants. And actually, they look really healthy, to be perfectly honest. The moss is fantastic. Until recently, this inlet was switched on. And so the water was just pouring in. And when the water pours in, it's just bringing endless nutrients into the pool. So that was, that's one of the reasons. Right. But I think the other reason is we simply don't have enough plant islands. There's not enough plants extracting enough of the nutrients. Every time we uh. remove all of the weed, it's just going to reappear. So what's um, our plan? What's well, our plan? Susie has left us a, um, a net here. <laughs> Isn't okay. this great? Look at the size of this, this net and the open. I mean, this is designed for a normal swimming pool just to take out the odd little bit of leaf. And instead, what we've got to do with this net is take out all this, this. of this wretched algae. And I'm afraid the job now is this. Oh my gosh. This is the job. This is the job. Even when you scoop it up, you're only getting about half of it. And then the whole thing blocks up. And as soon as you've pulled up one bit, another bit comes to the surface to take its place. You know what these look like, Chris? They look like green intestines. It's the vilest stuff. And do you know what? It's slurpy and slimy, just like I imagine green intestines would be. A long kind of string of intestine. That bit there I really want. Oh. If there were two, I would help. Oh yeah. But there's well, not. I'm so sorry, there's one, but I can easily give it to you if you'd like. Yeah. Do you want to come and have a go? It's quite good fun, actually. You get into it after a while. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And you, there's a strange satisfaction to okay. be had from clearing up all this primordial soup. Yeah. Now, this is when I wish I had an anaerobic digester at Mapperton, because I reckon this could all 
decompose and produce the most wonderful energy. Problem. Wheelbarrow, steps, slime. It's not going to end well, is it? So we're going to go another route. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God, no, it's pulling me down. Ah, Chris, give me a, oh, no, it really is coming out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right, here we go. Over the bridge, across the babbling brook and to our deposit site but I think I'm just going to deposit on the edge here that we're right next to the stream. All the creatures are going to be able to come out and find their way into the stream. Right, and back we go for round two. Well, I'm in the Minamit room and I'm going through emails. This is my scanner, scanning a lot of Alberta's letters that will be transcribed by our amazing virtual volunteers. When I was clearing out the Minamit room to do all the work, I discovered Alberta's recipe book. It's about 150 recipes and this is 120 years old, roughly. And so I thought it'd be really fun to do an American heiress summer supper club. And the details are down below uh, and we'll be doing, it's an online, so it's online. So you can join wherever you are around the world. We'll be cooking uh, in the Tudor kitchen here at Mapperton and it'll be myself and one of the chefs that we use here at Mapperton for our weddings and a lot of the events that happen here at Mapperton. So she and I will be cooking together and Luke will be moderating the questions. It will be a YouTube live, but it will be a, a link, um, a special link for those of you who are going to sign up. So if you do sign up for the Alberta, uh, the American heiress summer supper club, you're going to be getting her recipes, salmon, the marinade, the Burmani, uh, uh, that's the butter recipe that we'll be using potatoes, puree de champignons, so mushrooms, sabillon and a beer cup. How fun is that? So it's two hours and might, we might, might be a little bit longer, but hopefully it'll be about two hours and it's going to be on, um, we'll be going live on Saturday, the 17th of June. The details are down below. You can sign up now and I hope you can join us. So yes, other than that, I'm going to go back to emailing and scanning and back to the rest of this video. We've just come back up from the pool in yeah. a state of despair and uh, in need, dire need of psychological support, but also some advice. And there's only one person we could think of who could, who could certainly help with the former, if not the latter. And, uh, <laughs> and, and that's David. David! Hello, hello. Right, well, it, it's lovely to speak to you again, but my goodness, the pool. The what, pool. What, what's happened to it? I literally, I was swimming in there like three days ago and you know, it seemed all fine. And yeah. now it's an algae soup again. The way we left the pool at the moment, it was a bit really, let's just see what happens with this sort of minimal amount of Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. There's a massive amount of nutrients that got into that pool. Yeah, I, I think the tap was left on. In fact, I know the tap was left on until a week ago. Yeah, and that was going to be my next thing. Has as, as it been constantly refilling the pool? Yeah, so that answers the question then. Oh, why was the tap on then? Because Because you're in charge of the pool and the tap, and you left it on. No, I didn't. I don't even turn the tap on. It's either live with the water that's in there, just obviously stop the water go any more the water. Yeah, yeah I, we I've have. Turned, I've turned we the have. tap off. Either mechanically remove that algae and just think of the of that filamentous algae as really 
you know, mopping up those nutrients. But, you know, it's a lot of work to, to mechanically take it out. Do you, do you think, David, <laughs> therefore, we, we have to say that the algae is our friend? It's extracting nutrients, but we're going to have to work to get it out. Is that, is that yeah. really... And, and when you say mechanical... Diving in and get scooping it out. Yeah. But yes, you, you might, Luke, you should... You should look at that algae, that filamentous algae, as your friend. Thank you, David. This is amazing. Come yeah, again. Wow. Well, I think you're going to have to, that's for sure. Thanks, David. Okay, thanks, David. This is a pretty miserable job. Not so much the job, but it's pouring with rain. And um, I'm going to get soaked. But there we go, because we are at the last stage of getting this pool back together again. There's still some weed to go, but not too much. And I think what's happening is, as David said, the nutrients in the pool are being eaten up by all of the algae. And hopefully once we get this lot out, they won't come back. But most importantly, these islands need to be put back in their correct place because it all looks a bit of a mess. That is tethered, at least for now. Right, three down, more to go. Uh, uh, no, don't take that one with you. It's supposed to go on your own. There we go, tethered, fantastic. Julie is going to be so pleased with me, I hope. Now, I'm slightly worried about this one because I can't see any chain. And uh, we kind of need chain. There's a little bit here. Oh. That's done pretty well. There we go. Fabulous. Oh, Chris, just went straight in. Something like that. Uh, oh God, just broken a bit of the 18th century pool. That's a disaster. Oh my goodness. Okay, just don't tell anyone, just Put it back. Right, last bit. Chris, how are you waterproof? Um, not that waterproof. No. <laughs> let's, uh, let's join these guys back up again. Okay, got that. Chris, what do you reckon? It looks great. It's the job done, isn't it? I think for today we can call it job done but clearly we've still got a bit of um, algae uh, algae netting to do um, but maybe I'll wait for Julie to come back and help me with that one. <laughs>